Brake fluid is hygroscopic, meaning it can absorb moisture. Over an extended time period, water can enter the brake system and aid in the corrosion process. To prevent corrosion of metals inside a brake system, the brake fluid contains corrosion inhibitors that coat the inside of the brake line. As moisture is absorbed into the fluid, the corrosion inhibitors become depleted. The copper that coats the inside of the brake line is the first metal to corrode in the brake system. Copper test strips are used to determine the amount of copper ions in the brake fluid. Strips with no change in colour indicate little or no corrosion has taken place. Strips that change to a dark purple colour indicate the presence of a large amount of copper ions and that the corrosion inhibitors are completely depleted. To prevent further corrosion and to replenish the corrosion inhibitors, the fluid in the brake system should be replaced. To begin the replacement, clean brake fluid is poured into the brake fluid service machine. The cap from the brake fluid reservoir is removed and old fluid is suctioned out. A hose with a cap on the end is attached to the brake fluid reservoir, filling the reservoir and also pressurising the brake system. Starting at the rear of the vehicle, a fluid return hose is attached to the bleeder screw on the wheel cylinder or brake caliper. Opening the screw allows the clean pressurised fluid to flow through the brake lines, pushing all of the old brake fluid into the brake fluid flush machine. When clean fluid enters the return hose, the bleeder screw is closed and the process is repeated at the opposite wheel. On the front brakes, the bleeder screw is located on the brake caliper. To conclude the process, the pressure hose is removed and the master cylinder cap is reinstalled. As a general rule, brake fluid should be replaced every one to two years, or according to the interval recommended by the vehicle manufacturer.